Welcome to 3.1 Solving Systems of Equations. Um, here we're going to solve systems of equations graphically and algebraically. Nice thing is you've seen this back in Algebra 1, so some of this should be a review. Uh, it's going to be a good review because since you have seen it, you're going to have a little bit of knowledge, but also uh, there might be a few things that you learn, maybe a few shortcuts or whatever as you go through here that might help you understand these a little bit better. Um, so the first bullet here, uh, we know the system of equations is two or more equations with the same variables. So same variables what I mean is like they both have an x and a y. And then in order to solve the system of equations, what you're trying to do is you're trying to find an ordered pair that satisfies both the equations at the same time. So if you have two equations, um, say x plus y equals 5 and 2x minus y equals 4, then what you're trying to do is you're trying to find an x and a y that are going to work for the first equation and for the second equation. So you're looking for two numbers that if you plug into the first equation it will work and then if it plugs into the second equation that will work also. Um, sorry if that's a little repetitive. Alright so your first example here. What we have to do is we have to solve the system by graphing. Uh, describe it as consistent independent, consistent dependent, or inconsistent. Um, <clears throat> let's first do the graphing part. So for graphing, what you need to do, the best thing you can do is solve each equation for y. And then you can graph each of these equations. Now these equations are going to do one of three things. They're either going to intersect at a point, which would be an x and a y. They're going to be the same line, which would be infinitely many solutions. Or you might have where they are parallel, which means you have no solution. So those are your three different options. So we take our first equation and solve this. So x minus 2y equals 0. <coughs> We're going to subtract x to both sides. So minus x, minus x. And you get negative 2y equals a negative x. And then you want to divide both sides by negative 2. You end up getting the equation y is equal to a one-half x. Now we don't have a number out here, so we don't have a y-intercept. Actually, we kind of do. It's just a plus zero. So, but you're not going to write that. So when we graph this line, we're going to start at zero. And from there, you're going to use your slope, which is up one to the right two, up one to the right two, up one to the right two, and you can draw your line in. I always like to use at least three dots so I can make sure my line is pretty good because here you're going to actually need to have a, a pretty good line so that they go through everything. <coughs> um, so you don't want like your line, you don't want this line to be off. You don't want it to be off just a little bit because even if you're off just a little bit, then that's going through different points. You know, Instead of going through negative one, negative one, where you just put this line, you actually should be going through a point up here. Okay, you should not be going through negative one, negative one. So just being off a little bit can mess up your answer. Uh, let's go ahead and graph or solve the second equation. This one's a little bit easier. Let's do this one in blue. And so this is going to be x plus y equals six. So x plus y equals six. If you subtract x to both sides. You're going to end up with y equals a negative x plus 6. So we're going to solve, or we're going to graph this equation. So you're going to go up 6, put a dot, and your slope is negative. So that means you're going to go down 1 to the right 1, down 1 to the right 1, down 1 to the right 1. So it looks like these lines are going to intersect. So if you start up here at the top, go down on the correct slope. These actually do intersect, and what you want to do is you want to state whatever that point is that they intersect at. So they intersect right here at 4, 2. So your solution is 4, 2. That's the ordered pair of these two lines intersect. Now, we also have to do something else kind of new here. Uh, we need to describe the system as being consistent, independent, consistent, and dependent, or inconsistent. 
Um, inconsistent just means that you're going to have parallel lines. We'll go over this a little more in depth here in a little bit. Um, you're going to have parallel lines. If you are inconsistent and independent, this means you have intersecting lines. And I always remember that because inter independent intersecting starts with an IN. Yeah, I know inconsistent does too, but inconsistent is just by itself, so you have parallel lines there. So that means consistent and dependent would be the same line. Disregard the phone call. <laughs> All right, so in this case, if you have two lines that intersect, this is going to be intersecting lines, so this would be consistent and independent. I N D E P E N D E N T. Do you know what that means, girl? There you go. That's a stupid rap song by Webby, but I thought I'd throw that in. <laughs>